after this happened here don't quite know how I feel about it just yet but we'll, we will slowly but surely find out so uh, my name's Hunter I have a problem it's called I believe um, the actual like scientific term is excessive book buying it comes with excessive book reading so if you have one you'll have the other so um just to show you the amount of books i have accommodated since saturday it's very heavy there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books, I believe. And here they are. Oh boy. Oh boy. As you can see, I kind of have a, a Clary theme, Cassandra Clara theme. Oh! I almost said them over. And I have a collection of Rick Radden books. And there's one random. Jordy Pico there. Uh, so. Basically, I'm going to go through these. We're going to see how much of a problem I have. Mona Lisa. Anyways, I... Who will I begin with? I'll begin with the random one. The odd one out. And that is... If I can get it out of the stack of books I got here them over carefully off the page by Jody Pico and Samantha Van Leer um in one of the month once in the year in August I read between the lines by Jody Pico and Samantha Van Leer and they are they don't look alike at all and that one is in hardcover one is not they are companion novels um, I read this in a matter of hours, and it's 370 pages. I'm normal, I promise. But, like, they were pretty good. Yeah. Together, I'd probably give them, like, a, um, an 80%, 85%. Cause while I did like them, and I did really enjoy them, I do really recommend them. There were some things that I was just kind of confused and kind of like, oh, I didn't need that. But, like, this is really pretty. So, I mean, and like, two tone and beautiful. I just bumped my tripod. I apologize. Oh, there's so many books here. And done. I got this. Uh, the same day I got off the page. Yeah. And that is. That is. Percy Jackson's Greek Gods. It's beautiful. It's so big. It's so big. Oh. And it's heavy. <laughs> if you can't catch that yet. It's very heavy. And. It's beautiful and Greek Heroes is bigger and I don't own Greek Heroes I will probably get it next month cuz that's the month I really start rolling in the dough <laughs> but like who can complain with this it's the Greek gods stories is um, from Percy's point of view it has the sass, Persasius Jackson. And it mentions really, really great things, but I don't recommend reading it unless you haven't, if you haven't read the entire Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, which starts with the Lightning Thief and goes to the last Olympian. So I definitely start, I definitely recommend this first, and then I'd recommend reading the Here's the Olympus series afterwards, but you don't have to in order to read this, but you have to read that afterwards because, like, 
perfect, how can you not? How do you stop? Wait, can you actually stop reading books? That's a thing? Shoot. I didn't swear I said shite. I didn't say shh. But, um, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm on Hera. Hera. I'm on Hera right now. My world, like, everyone's least favorite goddess, Hera. God, you ruined it. She just, like, she wasn't horrible. But, like, then this book came, and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. You're immortal, so I'm gonna kill you. What's next? What is next? Let's go. Let's go with my giant stack of books here that's pretty obvious that I am excited about. These? Oh my god, they're so pretty. I got them in paperback because they're cheaper and I really wanted the original covers. So... Anyways, if you didn't know, I sl have slowly been obtaining Cassandra Clare's books. I don't have them all yet. I'm missing two now. Not including, like, novellas and um, companions. But I have the entire Mortal Instruments series and the first one of the other series. The Infertile Devices. Oh, okay. So, uh, I had originally planned on getting them all, all in hardcover. So, I have City of Bones in hardcover. Maybe I'll change that someday, but for now, my biggest worry is actually getting the books. And then, uh, not too long ago, I believe, I got City of Ashes in paperback. I think I got this from a grocery store. Because books are really cheap at the grocery store. And, like, these are expensive. I don't know if anyone ever realized this, but these are really expensive paperbacks. <laughs> like, not even kidding. These are really expensive paperbacks. Um, yeah, this one is $13. And usually they're maybe, like, $9.99. Maybe $10.99. But the hardcovers are expensive, too. <sighs> and then what's after City of Ashes? And then the new ones I have, I have City of Glass, which is the third book in the Mortal Instruments series. City of Fallen Angels, which is the fourth one. Fourth one. I always get this one in uh, the next one, City of Lost Souls mixed up. But uh, the way I remember it is this Fallen Angels is shorter, but this is the fourth one. and. The after city of it starts with an F. So, yeah, I'm smart. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be reading the back of that because I haven't read it. But, God. Um, and then I have the world's biggest book. This isn't the last one I have, but I have the world's biggest book in the history of books. City of Heavenly Fire. This is massive. Oh my god. I like, I knew it was big, but I, I was expecting it to probably not be, I was expecting it to be long, but I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Like, this is massive, guys. And then, I have the loner of the lone. Is this Jam on the cover? Who's on the cover of Clockwork Angel? But I have Clockwork Angel. I think it's Jam on the cover. I don't know. I've heard this is even better than the Mortal Instruments ser series. The Infernal Devices trilogy. I'm trying. My goal is to catch up on all of her books by the time Lady Midnight comes out. Which is like March 8th. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that. But I will definitely have those things done. 
All I know is that Lady Midnight got pushed back. But I have another question for someone who's read this series. I already know the spoiler for this series that come that uh, you see in this series. So can I just read this series all the way through? Or what? Because I was planning on reading them. Read them. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Reading them all in publication order. Which means I'd have to, I'd read, um, I'm rereading the first two. So I'd do Bones, Ashes, Glass, Angel, then Fallen Angels. Then I'd have to stop before I get Prince. Which I was going to, because I had the money to, but for some reason, there was a copy of Prince there. But it was like this much taller, and I would have gotten Princess as well. But Princess was only there in hardcover. So excuse me, Barnes and Noble. I just wanted them in the original covers. What was I saying? So, of course, the last, last book I have, I'm probably most excited about. And this is probably the book I'm going to read next. I'll start bringing this one to school, and that's how that will happen. And I'll read Greek Gods at Home every once in a while. But, I mean, in case you were wondering... I mean, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, book one, The Sword of Summer. It's brand new, just came out today, and I'm so excited to read it. I haven't seen it naked yet. Let's see it naked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still have sticky stuff on the cover. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yep, yep. It's going to bother me till the end of the world. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. It's a pretty, it's a pretty book. Who's a pretty book? You are, you are. I have problems. That's really cool. I like that. Well, this is Hunter from the future who does the editing that Hunter chooses to do because Hunter doesn't really like to edit, but Hunter does a little bit of trimming certain clips. I'm a, I'm here to warn you that there's some horrible singing coming up, so if you want wish to keep your eardrums, I recommend you staying. No. Leave if you want to keep your eardrums, but if you couldn't, care less then you know keep listening for all just don't mention it ever or i will come for you and i'm yours when the day goes stay thirsty like before don't you know that the kids are all oh, kids are all right Mom.